All right. Welcome everybody. Another think outside the container container home construction live stream. Today we are finishing up the finishing touches on the anchor bolts that stick out of the foundation. We are using a cold galvanizing compound. Uh, basically, it's a galvanizing paint. And uh, you simply spray it on. We're going to be doing two coats. And uh, it's going to be good for really protecting the anchor bolts from rust damage. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. If you're just tuning in, please feel free to come in the chat. Uh, let me know what is up. What's up, MC? You're back. Loyal. See, for you, I guess you're getting every notification, huh? You tune up for all these live streams, bro. Uh, you said you're from South Florida, right? If I recall. All right. Let's, let's get some more painting done here. Miramar. Awesome, bro. Very cool, very cool. So, just applying a coat. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then we'll be coming back around for a second coat after these dry for a few minutes. Pretty straightforward. Problem with this can is... It requires so much force to push it. That you end up just spraying very heavy goop what do we got here in the chat mc group in hialeah but don't tell anybody too many people hate on hialeah <laughs> i've heard some of the hate that's great bro that's great well thanks for showing up and stopping by and uh tuning in just uh finishing 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 touches man for crane day, you know, you know the story. Finishing, finishing touches for crane day. You know the deal. Sweet. All right, and go on to the next one. Take you guys with me. Take you guys with me. The purpose of this is to, again, protective layer. This isn't just your typical paint. I believe it's infused with zinc. Galvanizing paint. So it's similar to when they, similar to hot, uh, hot galv, hot galvanizing paint. Or not hot galvanizing paint. Just, just hot. I don't know how else to say it. It's just, it is what it is. That's the way it works. All right. So, we got that. Now we're going to move on to the... Uh, we're going to move on to the... first pedestal again for our second coat pretty straightforward process pretty straightforward process we are back I can stay there because so again thank you for everybody who got a notification for this live stream for showing up Pretty straightforward process. We're moving on now to the second pedestal. This is our second coat of paint. 
This is normal paint, everybody. This is galvanized paint. If you're watching, feel free to have, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to chime in in the chat. I'll just be here getting these finishing touches on the foundation done. Finishing touches on the foundation. This is not just your normal paint. This is cold galvanizing, cold galvanizing paint. And it's the next best thing to getting your, your steel anchor bolts hot dip galvanized, which is really good at protecting. MC in the chat asks, are you planning to remain on site in the RV for an extended period or will you be going back and forth? In the county where I am building the shipping container home, you are allowed to, you are allowed to um, uh, uh, live temporarily in an RV for one year. You get a one year RV permit. One year to live temporarily on your property in an RV one year to finish building your home. Uh, after that, they kick me out. <laughs> I don't know how strict they are, but they kick you out. Um, so right now I'm living on site here, uh, which is good because you know, you can just wake up and get working on stuff. Um, so yeah. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next pedestal for our second coat over here. Jonathan Batista in the chat says, so glad to see you moving forward with this awesome project. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you tuning in for this live container home construction, foundation, finishing touches, getting ready for crane day. Uh, this is one of the last real finishing touches we got to do. So uh, just trying to trying to get that ball rolling, trying to get the momentum going. I'll just mention to MC in the chat, they give you a year to live out here in the RV. And after that, you got to go. So ideally, I can finish building this container home before that one year expires. You know, otherwise I'll have to find maybe some RV park nearby. You know, there ain't one nearby. It's going to be like a good... <clears throat> it's going to be about a good 20, 25 minute drive from my property. So, it won't be ideal to have to drive 20, 25 minutes. Um, you know, to come do construction. But, it won't be the end of the world either. So, it'll work out in the end. So, no big... Last one for this row. Let's go. Don't want to run out of paint though. Cold galve, as they call it. Cold galve. Okay. So again, I, uh, um yeah again shout out to you guys let's uh let's move on to the next row next row go move in let's get it let's get this angle here eh? let's get this angle here get that angle there let's get up a little bit so, yeah, shout out to you guys. First coat on this run. First coat on this run. Let me get one thing real quick.
So I guess I got a question for those watching in the chat. Uh, are you guys specifically into container homes? It's something you find interesting or are you just into sort of construction in general? Why are you here? Why are you watching? Little question for you guys up in the chat. You guys are uniquely interested in container homes or just construction in general? Why are you here? And go to time lapse. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I want to say shout out to five people. That's more than enough. <laughs> shout out to you guys watching again. Feel free to comment in the chat. Interesting little thingy here. I uh, gotta go get some duct tape real quick. Be right back. Sorry for that delay, guys. Just realized something important. Let me not. Yes. Okay. So we had to do some measurements earlier. So some of these anchor bolts you might notice have orange spray paint marks on them. And just realized we marked those for a very specific reason with the orange paint. So can't be covering those up with the new golf paint. So right back Okay, sorry about that. I'm back with some orange paint because I accidentally put silver paint over the orange paint that we dictated earlier. So, what I'm going to do is put some pieces of duct tape over all of these real quick. I'll be right back. There, the half duct tape is now going to be gal. Don't sure I'll forget. That one, I can't 
can't forget. I'm just going to go straight through the paint over. Of a long story why I'm out here putting these pieces of tape. I gotta remember that this one gets the gals. That one gets the gals. All right, almost done, guys. Sorry about that. Be a second coat when I come back. Okay, fix that. All right, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Jesus H. Christ. Whoo! Apologies. What do we got here? MC says, no container experience here, but I've always found it interesting. The relatively lower housing costs and the greater ability to remove yourself from the mortgage rat race. Well, there you go. Couldn't agree more. Katie Braun up in the chat. Hello. Do you have a general time estimate for completion? Yeah, ideally, I think it's about nine months left till the RV permit expires. Uh, They only allow you to live out here in the RV temporarily for about a year. So you have like a year to finish constructing the house. So nice to see you. Long time. Um, so yeah, a uh, year. Yeah, I, I, I think it's possible. I, I think it's possible. But maybe not. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, young money, welcome again. Nice to see you back, 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 back. Have you seen any wild animals in your land? Do squirrels and spiders count? That's all I see out here: squirrels and spiders. Uh, and occasionally, like an owl or a hawk, but not too much, bro. Adrian Massa, they inspect before you put concrete. Yes, they did. They came out here before we poured concrete. The inspector came out, did his thing, looked around. And uh, you approved it. So we, we, did, we put a lot of due diligence. We, we really took our time and we really did our best. And so I think it came out good. So yeah, awesome. Nice to see you guys in here. Thanks, Katie. Nice, nice, cool stuff. Nice to see you here, Katie. I was wondering where you've been. Haven't seen you up around in a while, so. Okay, this... Just got a fresh, so. Just keep that going here. Excuse me. So, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Is that gonna come off? No. Okay. Tape time. That sun, that sun, man, that sun is. Yes, that sun is coming on. It's coming on, man. But I'll tell you, it's been a lot hotter than this. I'll tell you that. How are we looking? Cali boy in the heat wave. Taking care of my third baby. Wow, you've been productive. Oh, good for you. Very productive. That's great. Uh, Adrian says, I'm going to start my project in same county with shipping container. Oh, shit. Nice, man. Uh, 
where are you from originally, Adrian? Are you from Florida originally? Where are you? Okay, let's move on to the next pedestal. It's up to you, bro. Alligators or snakes? No, I haven't seen a single alligator or snake around here. All right, well. Hang on, guys. My dad's headed now. Let me just, uh, let me greet him out. All right. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> getting busy. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's very productive use of your time. Nicholas McDade. Hey, me and my wife are in London with our kids. Saving like crazy to get the heck out of here and start our own container home. Homestead is the way forward, brother. You know, I think for a lot of people... Bye! Yeah, bye. I think for a lot of people, it's a it's an option. It's something. I think uh, what the world has been in the last, uh, the last well, 2020. I think the the way the world has changed has uh, scared a lot of people. Definitely freaked me out. Um, so you know, I don't know. I don't think I don't know if it's all doomed in the cities or not. I don't know. I think it's possible that there's things can this can get better in the cities but we have to get through this phase this death row phase or whatever the hell's going on but uh we're gonna start my own project in the same county with ship container oh, i'm interested to know more how'd you find this area how'd you hear about container homes being made out in this rural area within this county I don't know what the number is at this point of the number of shipping containers that are being made in this county shipping container homes but you know i'm gonna put the number in the i don't know I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if there's 50 shipping container homes out in this rural area i mean i i, I wouldn't put it past it And I know 50 is a big number, but I'm serious. I mean, I, I just see more and more of them every time I'm driving around. And this whole rural area is so big. It's huge. So, next. So, I mean, I just... So it's great. It's a, it's a great it's a great place that exists. It's a great option. You know, if you're into shipping container homes. Katie says, "Good luck. Your channel's great. Everybody donate a dollar and PayPal. This guy's been working his ass off. Got to run. Thank you, Katie. Appreciate it. Take care. See you around. 
uh, X says, I'm planning to build some small two container shipping container homes and rent them out or use them as Airbnbs. Nice. Very interesting. Very interesting. And you know, a lot of people, shipping container homes are almost like a trend right now. You know, it's like kind of cool and interesting. Ooh, I want to stay in one of those. So I bet you uh, that's a legitimate market, you know, renting those out. So, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, again, I want to say thanks to everybody who's tuning in and watching this live shipping container home construction. This is finishing touches on the foundation. Finishing touches. Foundation. So we are talking here, getting the foundation prepped for the big crane day. For the big crane day. So this is galvanizing paint, cold galvanizing paint. When your steel isn't hot dipped galvanized, this is the next best thing apparently. Adrian Messa, thank you for answering. Yeah. And yeah, Adrian, I think that's really cool, man. I really think it's really cool you're going to be building one out here. That's awesome. What stage what stage in the project are you? Are you have you already gotten your building permit? Um, what stage in the project are you? As for XS, planning to build some small two container shipping container homes and rent them uh, two small small two container. So two containers. Nice, very interesting. So much you can do with two containers. I think that's a perfect size for like a little uh, temporary, like a rental, like a little vacation thing. Two containers, I mean 40 footers, Shot probably more than enough. Uh, obviously it all depends on how many people are staying in it, but yeah. It's pretty cool. Keep getting shots of this. Now we're doing our second coat. We're doing two coats, so we're gonna get our second coat in now. <laughs> Katie Braun in the chat saying, everybody donate a dollar. Well, I am working my ass off, that's a fact. But, you don't have to donate a dollar, it's all right. Just enjoy the stream. Second coat, guys. We're going second coat now. Adrian Messa, good luck in your product, bro. Oh, good luck. With yours, man. Young Money says you should plant some fruit trees to grow with, to go with your garden. Oh, yeah. That's part of the plan. A lot of uh, growing of stuff. I definitely want to do a lot of that. Um, I do want to do a lot of that. But I tell you, right now, I'm so busy with, uh, with the build that, man, I just don't have time. I don't have time right now. You know, I'm thinking about chickens and goats and chickens and goats and all that stuff. Uh, Adrian Messa says I'm from Broward County. Cool. Broward County. Cool. So you're from Florida. 
How'd you find out about this area? Just curious, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, you don't have to say. I'm just curious how people, you know, found out about this area. I found out because when I went looking for shipping containers, uh, I went to a shipping container depot where they had a bunch of containers. And the guy there said he knew people from this area who had already built shipping container homes. And at the time, I was looking, I was still looking for land. I, 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 I hadn't even found a county yet. I still hadn't even reached out to a county. So I was still early on. And this guy told me, yeah, yeah, you can, people are building container homes out there. And I'm like, where, where is it? Where is it? Tell me where, tell me where. And he told me where, and I looked it up, and it was basically the perfect place for everything that I needed. And if you would like to know what the things that I needed were, I needed... Rural pr property, you know, kind of isolated rural, where you're allowed to have chickens, goats, and grow your own food. Um, but that also allowed me to not only build a shipping container home, but that, that allowed me to build it myself. That you don't have to have licensed this or professional that to come in. You still have to pass inspections. You still got to get all your paperwork in place. You got to get your building permit. You got to plan everything out. You got to get your container home drawing plans stamped by a professional engineer in the state of Florida. Still a lot of due diligence. But uh, but uh, it turned out that this place had everything I needed. So very, very, very helpful. All right, so that is uh, officially halfway. We are now officially halfway done with the uh, finishing touches here on the foundation. Shipping container home live stream. Live stream shipping container home construction. So, put that there. Yeah. I just want to say thanks again for everybody who's tuned in so far, uh, checking out the stream. Don't worry. I get a lot of people asking about when's next episode coming out. The next official episode. And it's coming. In the next episode, I'm showing you guys how I built the... well pump house that thing right there i'm gonna show you guys every step of making that well pump house that thing uh it houses the filters and various systems that are required to run the, the well so that's the next episode and then after that episode comes out then starts my foundation series which i'm extremely excited for the entire process from start to finish of, of doing this foundation. It's been a ton of work. So that's two episodes away. We're going to get into the foundation. So keep, keep asking. So let's keep going here. Finishing touches. I'm going to spray. I'm going to spray with the wind. Don't spray against the wind. And it just takes all your paint.
All right, we move on to the next one. Move on to the next one. I'm going to the site project every weekend. Nice. Nice. Have you started construction yet? Have you started construction yet? Thank you guys for tuning in. I know I look like a psychotic mess. That's what happens when you stand outside in the sun for eight hours. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Think outside the container, shipping container home, live construction stream. Finishing touches for the foundation. Uh, we're here and we're doing it. So you money said you should Plant fruit trees in your garden. This is a second. Tip. I agree. And I want to do it. I want chickens. I want goats. Chickens, goats. Um, but again, it's like... You know, it's just... You're, I'm already so busy doing so much with the house that thinking about gardening and I just have uh, that much time. I did do, I went through a phase about a month ago. I did go through a phase about one month ago where all I did was research. All I did was research uh, chickens, gardening, composting, but that was like a low point while the concrete was curing for a month but now that it's basically go time for the crane i haven't had time but the reason it's taking me people say oh just get some chickens dude like just go buy some chickens <laughs> the problem is you know it uh i I like doing a ton of research before I get into things. And there are so many different ways. There's so all right, second coat time. There's so many different ways to uh to just run the whole chicken thing and you know, I was interested in getting into composting. I was interested in getting into composting. Uh, but then there's so many different ways to do chicken composting. Uh, because there's normal composting where you have a composting pile, you put your kitchen scraps, your yard clippings, and that's fine. But I found out of another method of composting, and that other method of composting is called um, ch chicken run composting. Totally different method. Chicken run composting is what it's called. And... Uh, It's basically where you put the you you grow your your compost pile is actually inside the chicken run. Your compost pile is 
is inside the chicken run. You know, in the chicken run and the chicken coop where the chickens are. And, uh... And the idea is that you let your chickens do most of the compost maintenance for you. So the chickens will scratch and peck at the, at the pile that you pile up inside the chicken coop. Chicken run. So, whereas I would love to start gardening now, I would love to start gardening now. In order for me to garden and, you know, handle the chicken composting and all that stuff, I would want to have my chicken, <laughs> the whole chicken thing in order. So, it just creates a... I just, I really want to do my research before I before I commit to any one method. Yeah, that's looks like we're out of paint. <laughs> looks like we're out of paint. So we got us three quarters of the way there, which is pretty cool. Um. Some friends have properties in Hendry County. Oh, so that's how you heard? Is that how you heard about the area? Well, cool. Yeah. I like it out here, you know? For me, somebody who was born and raised in the city my whole life, um, this, this area is a real sense of rural isolated but with some of the amenities of of the city life which really i just mean a few paved roads and some power lines um but you know i have thought i've thought about buying more land i i feel like i'm not happy with this lot it's a little bit over an acre it's like an acre and a quarter i feel like i could i feel like i want more land but that's the problem you know you buy land in an area with paved roads, power lines, the price of the land is insanely expensive. Like compared to like if I just went out to the true middle of nowhere and bought like 40 acres or something. So it's, it's a thing. It's like, do you want the luxuries of living uh, with some civilized amenities or do you want to go isolated? So it's a trade off, you know, but overall I am very happy with this and I guess if worse comes to worse, I could always just, um, if worse comes to worse, I could just maybe sell it, <laughs> sell it for a profit. You know, hopefully, hopefully that could be, I don't know. It's a very good question. How much would an over an acre of rural homestead with a shipping container, uh, just about a thousand foot, thousand square foot shipping container home. How much would that go for? Makes you wonder. Um, how did you decide when to put the house, where to put the house on your land? That's a really good question. Um, how? How, yes. Well, really, it was a bit arbitrary. I just wanted it to be, I wanted as much backyard space as possible. The, the land is shaped like a rectangle, big rectangle. So I wanted to put the house as far forward as possible so that I had as much of that backyard space as possible to grow food, you know, tend to animals and stuff like that. Uh, the problem is there's like a 40 foot setback from the front of the property. So the first 40 feet of the property, you can't put a house there. It's got to go afterwards. And the problem was, if you can see here, as you can see, uh, see these three pine trees? These three pine trees here, they sit about like right at 40 feet, roughly, from the front of the property. And so because they sit right about 40 feet, I couldn't just put the house right on the 40 foot marker. 
so I had to move them back further than I wanted to. That being said, that being said, it's still mostly to the front of the property. And I still have most of the space on the back side of the rectangle. So, yeah, that was sort of the rough idea of where to place the house. As far forward as, as possible was like the first thing. And, uh, yeah, there were a few other things, but it's also pretty centered as well on the property. So it's, as far as when you pull up, it's in the middle. Um, I just felt that made sense naturally. And that's about it. That's, a, that's about it. So, yeah. Well, um, I ran out of paint, unfortunately. But uh, I was able to get the majority of the foundation uh, done as far as the painting. So I got one last, I got one last row of columns with the anchor bolts sticking out. These anchor bolts need a, a nice, coat of, nice coat of cold galvanizing paint. So, yeah. Anyways, so that'll be it for today's live stream. Um, the next stream will probably be, um, yeah, the next stream is going to be putting the non-shrink grout onto the pedestal. Non-shrink grout. We got to put a, basically what happens is you get a rectangle of grout that's about, I think it's about an inch thick, I can't recall, top of my head. And you put that here and then you get these steel plates that I also forget the thickness I think they're like half an inch or something and then you put the steel plate on top of the grout and there you drill holes in the steel plate so they goes right through these anchor bolts and then you get these nuts and you tighten them down over the plate uh, so that's like the next phase of the finishing touches for the foundation. That's like the next phase of the finishing touches for the foundation. And uh, yeah, so I'll probably be going live for that. So again, I wanna say thank you to everybody who tuned in, everybody who managed to get a notification. Um, I know there's a thousand people subscribed to the channel, over a thousand. Um, so I'd love to see more people show up for the live streams. Um, I. Probably I'm going to be doing some live streams over on TikTok because for some reason TikTok gets a lot more exposure than YouTube. I don't know what's up with YouTube, but anyways, so I'll be doing some live streams over on TikTok as well. Just if you want to find me on TikTok, it's just think outside the container uh, on TikTok. Should be pretty straightforward, but yeah. Uh, so anyways, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Thank you guys for your comments, your questions, and everything else in between. Signing off for today. Uh, I'm probably going to keep doing something. I like to take advantage while I'm already out here sweating my face off. So, all right. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. And to everybody in the chat who's mentioned that they're in the process of their own shipping container project and journey. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck on your projects. Later.